Hello, my fellow Cowboys fans, and welcome to this edition of Cowboys Imperial Report. I am the Emperor Marcus Aurelius Maximus, and on today's show, we're going to be talking about the Dallas Cowboys versus the Arizona Cardinals at 3.15 Cowboys Standard Time on Fox out there in the desert. Join me after the break with a discussion with Day Lay On. If, to Cowboys fans, this small word sure packs a wallop. If only Terry Glenn would have caught that screen against the Seahawks. If only Romo would have held down that ball in the wild card. If only Jessica Simpson wouldn't have come to the Eagles game last year. If only Tony Romo wouldn't have gone to Mexico. If only we would have won the divisional against the Giants. If only Sam Hurd would have caught that ball against Washington last week on the onside. For all the ifs in life, there's Matt Life. Welcome to Cowboys Imperial Report Day, Leon. How are you doing? I'm doing good. How about you? In order to win this game, what do you see the Cowboys needing to do? Well, they have to run the ball with Barber and Felix Jones. Uh, they got, you know, that's pretty much total the clock. That's the bottom line. Romo needs no more than one turnover on this team. Last game, he had two turnovers and not this game. Uh, I'm thinking he'll probably have his regular one interception, but that's it. No more than one. Okay, so what what is wrong with Tony Romo? I think he just needs to either marry Jessica Simpson <laughs> or leave her, one of the two. Uh, I, I, I think it is a mental thing, though, now. Yeah, I think now I, I think it is a mental thing. And All right, now Pac-Man Jones, he's having a little problem himself with catching interceptions, and he said he's going to work on the ball drill. He's going to work on the machines this this week is that do you think that's going to help no that's not going to help at all those interceptions are going to happen and i think he is trying too hard he's trying so hard that he's dropping the ball look at what happened with ellis you know the guy who's defensive end he ends up getting the, the interception that just tells you everything there okay so tony romo's record he's 13 and 3 on the road but he's 10 and 6 at home is that going to play any effect at Cardinals Stadium? Once again, it's a mental thing, and for some reason, he knows it's harder to win on the road, so I think he just needs more points on the road. Okay, so what's your prediction for the game, Day Leon? I, I see a 34-30. Uh, the defense is going to allow another three touchdowns and three field goals. It comes up to 30 points, and we're going to score four touchdowns and two field goals. Well, I appreciate your input on Cowboys Imperial Report, Day Leon. We'll talk to you later. Okay, you hang in there, okay? All right, well, that was nice to hear from De Leon about the upcoming matchup between the Cowboys and the Cardinals. He has great insights. Let's get to the headlines. Matt Mosley writes in his NFC East blog that the Cowboys need a reality check. I, li I like this here. Did, did, did you know that Randy Galloway said that... that uh, that the team basically stunk after the first quarter. And then when Phillips was walking back to the locker room, he said that Randy Galloway stinks. I like that. We need a more proactive approach to the media. It's, they're not our friends. I'm sorry. Let's quit sucking up to them and let's go after them for who they are. And speaking of baffling, T.O. was a non-factor Sunday until the late touchdown. He reacted by putting a towel over his head and weeping. Maybe I skipped sensitivity training, writes Matt Mosley, the last eight or nine years, but when did it become acceptable for your players to cry on the sidelines? Well, maybe if Matt Mosley, the moron, wouldn't have jumped to conclusions like this, he would have realized that the reason why Terrell Owens was crying, as documented by Calvin and Hobbs Watkins in the Dallas Morning News, T.O. was crying because of the passing of a family member. That's why he was crying. How do you feel about yourself now, Matt? Uh, is your mother proud of you, Matt? Look how far you've come. Is your mother proud of you, Matt, for making up lies about football players? Is your mother proud of you, Matt? He was crying over a family member who died, who I, in my estimation, since he won't reveal, and it hurt him so much, it very well could be his grandmother who had Alzheimer's and suffer is suffering. Even the Dallas Morning News put out a hit piece uh, on T.O. crime. Ah, that's what we're dealing with. Then Kalashaw, you know what Kalashaw did? He he said, "Let's play the Romo game." In his blog, he's he's writing and he he's writing something here. 
talking about quarterbacks that he would choose over Romo. He chooses t a healthy Tom Brady. Well, there's no such thing, so that'd be like saying uh, bring back a, 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 an, an alive J Johnny Unitas, you know. Uh, and he says Peyton Man. Those are two quarterbacks up top. He'd take over Romo. Then he'd take Drew Brees over Romo. Oh, really? Drew Brees? Drew Brees, huh? The guy who threw nine touchdowns and I believe uh, six interceptions. Nine touchdowns and six interceptions, one lost fumble. And you'll take this guy over Romo. Well, okay. I, that, I, he had to do something. You, gotta, you can't really rag on Kalashaw too much because he's on around the horn and I'm sure he's been losing a lot lately. So he's got to do something with reality, reality to get in his good favor again so he can get some more points. That's exactly what's going on. And then uh, Deion Sanders on Sunday night. I saw this. I'd probably even talk about it too. Even if the Dallas Morning News didn't devote a blog to it. Which was uh, Deion Sanders... Uh, saying that he's officially jumped off the Dallas Cowboys bandwagon. Well, good for him. And I and he also said that he believes the New York Giants are for real. Oh, really? Well, then in that case, why don't you go sell your home in Dallas and go move up there to East Rutherford? Maybe you and Bill Parcells can go to Saratoga Springs and bet on the horses and lose money and then come back and beg the, the Blue Star to take you back in and then give you some more money, huh? Why don't you go do that? Go shoot your reality show with your wife up there in, in East Rutherford, Dion. We have no use for you. You know what you did to the 90s because of your signing? You know what you did to this team? We lost 11 Quality players and free agency. Also, we can pay for you to have turf toe for four years. You did nothing for this team. And I don't want to hear he returned to punt or he did this and that. We brought Deion Sanders in to shut down Jerry Rice. And he did not do that in the regular season meeting between the Cowboys and the Niners in 95 in Texas Stadium. You remember that game, the blowout? Oh, great. We threw all that money away on him. And if I have to see a commercial one more time about, yeah, how much you want? 15 million, 20 million, both? Yeah, that's why we fell! Was because of that oaf! That schmuck! Did you hear what, what our, uh, what, uh, the collar boy... Pac-Man Jones did. You, did. Did you hear about that? He gets in. A, uh, he gets liquored up and goes and gets in an altercation with a chef at a hotel. Great, one or a, his bodyguard or something. Great, wonderful. I, uh, yeah, that's what we need. Terrence Newman with the groin thing, and then this guy, who's on his last rope, decides to 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 go carouse and and try to get in trouble with the league. All we can hope for is. Is go say our Hail Marys and the Rosaries and this and that and hope that the that that robber go to hell, the the uh, communist of the NFL doesn't drop the gavel on Pac-Man Jones. And he very well he very well might for violating the, if he determines he might have violated the the NFL uh, code of conduct. So that's just just another thing to look forward to. It's another thing to look forward to. Who are we going to... Anthony Henry? And then, like, Mike Jenkins on the, on the opposite side corner? Here we go again. We're playing 15 yards off the receivers again. Not that we don't do that anyway. I'm not too worried about the Cardinals. We beat them 27-10 to 10 back in 2006. I don't see why the Cowboys can't at least go in there and win the game. So that's why I'm predicting that the Dallas Cowboys... You know, I always predict the Cowboys are going to win in the 30s. I think they will. I don't see the defense... The, uh, the defense doing anything to the Cowboys, so I'm going to go ahead and say it. Cowboys 34, and these uh, these these Arizona Cardinals will can will, they'll get 17 points. I can see them getting 17 points. 34 to 17. You heard it here first. They are Marcus Aurelius Maximus, and God save the Cowboys.